it's a December to remember. Because no matter what Christmas holiday scene project you're working on, I'm going to share with you several life-saving tips to help you easily create your animated videos in After Effects. First, we'll go through creating very basic videos that will take you no time to create, and then we'll dive into something a little more in-depth to help you create any type of Christmas project you may be working on. So be sure to check out the timestamps below, and let's get started. So perhaps you want to create a greeting card or just need a Christmas-esque video. Well, here's how to create something like this in a minute. So first, you can grab any type of Christmas graphic or background for free over at freepix.com or you know you can use any stock sharing website because creating graphics like this from scratch is its own skill set and I don't even know what a skill set is so uh, but once you have your file downloaded you may need to use Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator to hide unwanted text and graphics but once that is done save it and move over to After Effects so we can import our background into After Effects and I want to add some snow so we can create an adjustment layer and go to effect simulation and add CC snowfall. Right away, this adds snow into our scene. Now you may notice there's a handful of settings, but we'll keep it simple. We can increase the size of the snow so it's easier to see, and then we can increase the speed and wind to make this fall much faster and directional. Also, I like setting the opacity to 100 and then opening the background illumination and adjusting the influence to make the snow more visible. And that's how to work with snow. Now, another great technique we have to talk about is Christmas themed title animations. Two of my favorite Christmas themed fonts is Sinzel, if you're looking for like a non script font, and if you are looking for a script style font, Shelby is great. But once your title is ready to go, go to Effects and Presets, drop down Text, and go to Blurs. Pretty much any of these presets are great, so just drag and drop one on top of your title and hit U on your keyboard to adjust the length of that final keyframe. And just like that, you can add cinematic titles in just a few clicks. And one last thing I want to do for a scene like this is to create a null object and then parent all the layers to the null like this. And then I like to create a simple scale animation to animate our scene inwards. So scale from 100% to 110%. And now we have a really effective Christmas scene. And speaking of being effective in After Effects, for this holiday season, please be sure to get our free 100 templates here for After Effects and Premiere Pro. This comes with our Motion Duck extension in which you can preview and apply templates with a single click and then customize those graphics with our pre-built control layers. So get your free 100 templates linked below and start saving time now. Okay, so let's move forward and talk about how to create scenes where we need to animate graphics like this. In order to do these type of scenes, you need to download a vector project file or specifically an Adobe Illustrator file. You'll find these on any stock sharing website. Just be sure to set the filter for the search to vectors. So once you have that file, you can open it in Adobe Illustrator. And all you need to do here is go to layers. So window layers. And our objective here is to remove unwanted graphics and then put each object into their own layer to animate in After Effects. So I can select layer one, click the hamburger icon, and select release to layer sequence. Then just move all the layers above the original layer. Then save this file as an Illustrator file. And now we can move over to After Effects. I did skim through this. So for more depth on this process, check out my other tutorial on this Illustrator to After Effects workflow below. Back here in After Effects, import the file we just saved as a composition and click Yep. All your layers should be here and available to animate. So for example, we can select this ornament and before we animate it, we can move the anchor point with the pan behind tool to the top of the layer. So if I go here to rotation and animate it, this object will rotate from the anchor point as if it's swinging. Also to loop an animation, you can alt click the stopwatch and type this loop out ping pong expression. This will loop the animation forever. And we can apply this concept to other layers by copying and pasting those keyframes to everything else. And if you're feeling slick, you could also animate the position and scale of each layer to animate all the objects in. However, when you add one of those blur titles into your scene, you now have the ability to create full graphic Christmas videos in moments. If you want to dive a little deeper into this workflow and how to create fully animated videos, please be sure to check out my tutorial on this workflow link below. But other than that, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and always be creating.